Women's health care has made a lot of changes in transformation in the last handful of years. Historically, patients went to the ob for a pap smear. And that word was associated as the routine exam. But what we have seen as healthcare has evolved as for women is that the pap smear, which is a test for recognition of cervical cancer, is only one small component of women's health. So what has occurred in the transformation of healthcare is we minimize and decrease the importance of a pap smear. So for example, a woman under the age of 21 will not have a pap smear anymore. And women over 65 probably don't need to have pap smear because finding and diagnosing cervical cancer in those two age groups is fairly rare. But the overall well-being for a woman is not only diagnosed and recognized in a pap smear, it's also diagnosed and recognized and managed by other components of the physical exam, from breast exams to pelvic exams to abdominal exams. But also very important is the history and clinical symptoms that patients bring to the table. And that has become probably one of the most important components in women's health care today. We now recognize that breast cancer has a huge genetic component, a huge history component. We recognize that with all the medications that people have taken that they can be related to women's health issues. And it's imperative that a woman sees a gynecologist every year to give their clinical history and their, um, their um, health history from their ancestors to family and really appropriately managing women's health issues.